of idea. And I don't know what the Secret Seven are going to be doing. One of them is not going to be making it. You know, we have just got six. Seagulls of brilliant eyesight. I always remember a seagull licking my fish at Air Beach when I looked away. Your fish, I take it, it was a fish and chip you were having. And it went off with your fish. This is crazy stuff. Ah, right. Now, what I can do here, guys, I'm just going to tweet so you could all help. Now, what do we put here? Right, I'm tweeting. So we'll see what comes up here. Ah, oh, right. What else can I put here? Friday. This is the tweeting going on, guys. So you can have some input to the tweet. I think that would be a good idea. Right. We're going to tweet now. <laughs> And off it goes. There we go. Wonderful. That's that done. Uh, yes, the old seagulls, they're, they're, they, they will pinch your stuff. Uh, apparently, though, some of the sites abroad, the monkeys will mug you. Yes, I don't know if you've ever heard about that. The monkeys will actually come and mug you. And they've got to watch them. They'll watch, watch the monkeys. I love them. I spoke to an Indian gentleman who said to me, Monkeys are stupid. I said, no, I don't think they are, you see. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Now, we can wine, we can invite on Karens and other easy to wind up people for you to have your way with Scotty. Interesting comment there, right? <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> invite other people to wind up. Now, what we need, I say, I still say, uh, it'll be interesting to see because there's such a high push now for Scottish independence. And it's funny that you hear people saying two things that mystify me. One is people who live in Scotland who don't want Scotland to be independent. Uh, and they don't want Scotland to run its own affairs. They want Westminster to run them. And the other is people that want to leave the EU and say, but it's democracy, you know, because that was a, if you look at the process, how we've got to where we are at the moment, it's very, 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 very flawed. Very flawed indeed. So there we go. Tony says, my mum passed away a couple of years ago. Was that a couple of years ago today, Tony? We send you love and blessings. Your mum, fantastic lady. Can you say hello to my dad, Alex Mack? It would have been my parents' 49th anniversary today. Ah, got you, Tony. 49 years married. They would have been, of course, I can say hello to your dear dad, Alex Mack. Dinky do from Scotty McClure and from everybody in the nation. We send you strength and love and blessings. So there you are. Your son is looking after you. Wonderful stuff. So there we are. Of course we can, Tony. We can do all sorts of things. This was, of course, the beauty of the phone ends, because we would have a, a serious call, a funny call, another funny call, another serious call, all that. I need some more likes, like, like, like you like. Um... As the proclaimers say, I can't understand why you let someone else rule your land, cap in hand. Absolutely, absolutely. And when you see, I was reading in great detail, the jiggery pokery that went on to have the union. And I noticed some dafties going, um, oh, you will need to get your own currency. No problem, no problem. Because Scotland had to seriously devalue the pound Scots 
to facilitate the currency union in 1707. Oh, my goodness, now you know.